Okay, let's write it down. Let's write down S3. Well, let's set it down. Again, one term at a time. So it's going to be 4 6 minus 4 7s. 4 7s minus 4 8s. That's plus. Plus 4 8s minus 4 ninths. And what's nice about this one, not that I want to add all six terms together, but I do notice like immediately that these things are just simply disappearing. So what's, what are you left off with? 4 6 minus 4 ninths. I'm going to say a common denominator of 18. That's going to give me 12 minus, because 3 times 6 is 18, and 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times minus 4 is going to be minus 8. So what do you get? Well, 12 minus 18 is going to be, I'm sorry, 12 minus 8 is 4 eighteenths or 2 ninths. All right, so that's S3. So let, let me just point out, looking at the key, I'm hoping to see that, 2 ninths. All right? Now what I want to do, I want to write down um, S4 now. And again, I'm going to write it down, 4, 6, Minus four sevens, four sevens. Uh, let's see, minus four ace. Don't reduce these things, by the way. Four ace, minus four ninths. And then you get four ninths minus four tenths. Well, again, what am I noticing? This collapsing sum, which makes it easier for me to add it together because there's only two terms in it. Four six minus four tenths. What do you get there? Well, I'm going to say common denominator of 30. And let's see, 6 times 5 is 30. So 5 times 4 is 20. And then 3 times 4 is 12. What do you get? 8 thirtieths. I'm going to reduce that. I'm going to divide by 2, so 4 fifteenths. Again, mistakes mis mistakes happen. And you're going to learn from your mistakes, by the way. But hopefully you're seeing 4 fifteenths over here. All right? Now let me do... Um, I guess I did S3, S4. I didn't do S5, did I? But I got a pretty good idea what's going to happen over here. And kind of looking at what I've done so far, you know, I got 4, 6. I got a lot of things disappearing, by the way. And what I'm going to get, you know, let's see, minus 4, 11s. But again, how did, I, how did I determine that? Over time, I'm, I'm looking at my patterns over here, and I'm seeing that. That's a good thing to notice, by the way. What do you get there? I'm going to say 66, and let's see, 44 minus 24. And what do you get there? You get 20 over 66. You get 10 over 33. Again, I can't say how times mistakes happen. Well, no mistake there. All right, so I'm going to say, I'm at the stage where I, I understand what they asked me to do and why they asked me to do it. And that's what you want to do when you're doing homework. What are they asking me to do, and why are they asking me to do that? Right, so I'm going to say I, I got this understood at this point. I got the S3, S4, S5. What am I noticing about these things over here? It, the sum's collapsing, by the way. We call it a telescoping sum. So what I want to do is I want to write down Sn. Now, someone says, I wonder what Sn is. Sn is the sum, little n equals 1, up to big N, 4 over n plus 5 minus 4 n plus 6. And again, I want to remind you, we already did these three. You probably guess what the sum's going to look like, but I do want to, I want to go through it because they're not always so simple, by the way. So I'm going to say you're going to get, you know, 4 over 6 minus 4 over 7 plus 4 over 7 minus 4 over 8 plus 4 over 8 minus 4 over 9. I'm getting tired, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to write down a, you know, some of the last terms over here. And yeah, I know it's, it's, it's problematic. So 4 n plus 5 minus 4 over big N plus 6. What comes before that? Certainly a 4 over something and a 4 over something. This will be n plus 5, and this will be n plus 4.
All right. What am I doing over here? I'm looking for something that collapses, and I'm hoping I see it. So let's go through that again. I'm seeing this disappears, this disappears. Now, I hope you realize that, you know, the minus four ninths, would, that would disappear over there. Now, let me go to the other side and see what happens over there. And what I notice is that this would disappear, all right? I hope you start to realize that there's something over here where this disappear, and everything in the middle is disappearing. So what are you left off with? You left off with four six minus four over n plus six. And this is Sn. Right, what I want to do, though, is I want to take the limit as this big N goes to infinity of Sn. What's that going to equal? The sum, N equals 1, off to infinity, that's where the big N is going, of this thing. Can I do that? I can. And again, I want to encourage you, look at this thing. We're taking the limit as n goes to infinity. The second term disappears. This sum is going to be 4 over 6 or 2 thirds. All right, let's go this over here and see if we got uh, down what they want me to get. And I want to point out there's things written down here that we want you to look at. Sn is certainly something we want you to write down. What did I say? 4, 6 minus 4 over n plus 6. I got this. The next thing is to realize what you're doing over here is taking a limit, and the limit is n goes to infinity, and we got two-thirds. Did we get two-thirds? We got two-thirds. We're good to go to the next question. Thank you.